Nick Onkin, and I'm a photographer. Uh, the projects I'm working on right now, my, my main focus and passion is photography, uh, but I'm also starting some other different things of my brand. I, I host a podcast uh, called Shop Talk Radio, and I, and I interview successful creative entrepreneurs. And the whole idea is to inspire people uh, to on how to make a living with their art and expand their life and, and live the rich life in, in terms of fulfillment. And I'm also doing some art, I travel, um, mixed medium art, I do um, just a number, of, those are the creative projects I'm working on. I'm also working on a uh, lifestyle brand uh, for clothes and um, different accessories and stuff like that. I've been to every country that Pencils of Promise is, is building schools in Laos, uh, Ghana, and Guatemala. And those are some of the most impactful memories, like shooting the kids that are directly impacted by the work and the, the school, building of the schools. And the kids just have so much joy and they really light up in front of the camera. So it's, it's something, travel is something I'm passionate about. So it really combines a lot of that, the travel, the, the give back, the philanthropy aspect of, of what I do. I mean, honestly, it's, it's been a, an organic process. I was a graphic designer before, and I started shooting for my own design work, and just, it just like started, the passion started growing as I was shooting, and then I, I went on to Africa uh, with a nonprofit design client of mine to build a photo library for them, and that's really sparked this interest in photography. And from there, I just like, I realized that I was actually good at it. And I started practicing and getting better and, and getting more interested into it. My eyes were open to the actual reality that it could be a career. And from there, it was just like, I decided that I wanted to be a professional photographer and I did everything that I, that it took to get there. So it was almost like working backwards. And I think that's a big key secret that I like to talk about is if you wanna to get to your dreams, you gotta start with the dream and work backwards and break it down and create the architecture and the, put the puzzle pieces of your life together to create that reality. And that's something that I've done in my own life in terms of you know, whether it's you know, taking, putting all my money into my business and you know, sacrificing stability and you know maybe eating ramen and and low rent and like living in different places that you wouldn't normally live in to go after the big dream and the the end goal for me was to be a professional commercial and editorial photographer and which there's a lot more to that than it sounds like so that was my that was how i got there and then now it's just been kind of an evolution and the more I experiment with different projects, the more I'm interested, and the more I, I, I feel like different pieces are part of me. And the podcast is something that's also, I love connecting with people, I love hearing people's stories, and I get to, I get to experiment with that. I get to push myself out of my comfort zone. I get to create something different. And I also use my photography to go along with that, and. I'll shoot photos of the actual uh, person I'm interviewing, so it's a two-dimensional um, interaction and experience with them. So all this is, you know, experimenting with art, experimenting with the brand. It's all kind of under the same idea and the same taste-making space and vision. My real-life superpower is photography. I think it's the one thing that I'm realized that's the most natural to me. And the more I've practiced it, the better I've gotten. And I can, I can make magic with a camera and people recognize that. Um, my everyday ritual would be, typically when I'm home, I travel a lot, so I try to keep it consistent. But when I'm at home, I typically get up and work out for the first 25 minutes of the day and just do some like body weight exercises and jump rope, and then I have a protein shake, but I have like, I use like MCT oil and different things to activate my brain. And for me, that is a ritual. That's, that's something that, um, that helps me, helps anchor me to my daily processes. My friend was like, he's like, what's your, 
Rolling Stones, uh, you know, if you were on the cover of Rolling Stone, what's your, um, what's your tagline or what's your subject line? I, I, I think I'm still experimenting it with that, but I want to inspire people through art and design, inspire positive change through art and design. And there's so much, um, there, there's such a big movement in conscious, conscious, a big movement in conscious media these days. But how do you take that and you make it infiltrate it with art, integrate it with art, and make it cool, or you know, re the, so that it resonates with young people, and that so that young people can take that and create positive change in the world. I, you know, this is also something that I've been working on too: is create your moments, and it's a hashtag that I've been I've kind of started in, in with go in with the intention of creating your life. And creating your life can be something from like the smallest moments. You can create the smallest moments because the smallest moments lead to a bigger moment and the bigger lifespan. And when you're consciously creating that, you're gonna create the life that you want. And if more people do that, then we're all gonna be living our dream.